I went into a business with my brother and we created a uh, trade publication for the <coughs> radio industry. It was called R&R, Radio and Records. And it still exists. Well, it just, they closed it three months ago and we okay. started that in 1974, yeah. okay. <laughs> and it was the leading uh, trade publication. It told the radio programmers what music uh, the other radio stations were playing. So it was an independent thing. And we had also another very creative uh, right brain, I call, yeah. uh, individual that was a program director. And my brother syndicated part in this whole thing, syndicated a, a disc jockey named Wolfman Jack. Mm -hmm. So we pushed Wolfman Jack across the country. And that was, Wolfman Jack was used as a substitute for a, a disc jockey. So they would pay him to syndicate this all across the country. So these are just ideas that, that you start and just it, it developed. Now those were fun. And that was a totally different thing because it was fun and because there, it was passion and because there was fun involved, we made a lot of money yeah. for no money to start. So I'm just saying, we were able to start a business for $12,500 and we had cash coming in advance because subscriptions c are paid in advance. We got it going, we got advertising going, and in four years we sold it for $15 million. Okay? Now, that was lucky, but that was a thing. And part of the unlucky part of that was I felt I could do this easily. Okay, that this is a, an easy deal here. Before I'm 40 years old, yeah. I can make money like this and I understand business and I can have fun doing it, but that's not the real world either. So after that, we tried some other things and didn't do as well in a retail business and golf club manufacturing business. So it's just, it's just trying things that are passionate.